The Rifles Handicap Chase is next. It's a 0 to 120 over two miles. Hall of Fame at the top for Derek Hinton, Wisecrack Hard, Ken, Matt Cooper, Captain Jack for Graham Clutterbuck, and Forgotten Next for Martin Williams. So just four in this. Prize money for everybody if they get red. And heading off towards the first fence. So we don't get too many fallers. And Captain Jack on the inside is refusing to settle. Leeds goes past the big screen. And the totalisator board. And past the winning post. And still a good old run to get to the first. Captain Jack in the lead. And Hall of Fame in the pink jacket. Second for Derek Hinton. Nice crack hard Ken in the red jacket on the inside. Third for Matt Cooper with Forgotten Next. Just the back marker of the four. Captain Jack. Graham talks new colours in the lead. Captain Jack it is leading by three or four. A long old run. They've already covered the first half mile of the race. They haven't got anywhere near a fence yet. They've got to take 11 as well, so they've got to jump 11 fences in not much more than 11 furlongs as they get over the first. And there's a faller already. All of fame's gone, so we have a disaster there, really, with only four runners in the race and the first fence we get a faller. And we nearly got one at the second as well as Wisecrack Hardcan was down on his nose. Into the third. They couldn't thick and fast now. And Captain Jack is the leader. We're on Forgotten Next and Wisecrack Hardkin. Over the fourth they go, Forgotten Next more of a hurdler as well, so no guarantee that one will get round. Captain Jack is the leader. And Wisecrack Hardkin second, Forgotten Next is third. This is the fifth. And we'll jump that one nicely. So this is one of the races I suppose they get over the sixth. That may have suffered from the hunters been extended to 110. A lot of the horses that would have run in this have probably sloped off to the hunters instead. This horse is rated between 101 and 110 anyway. Well, it's Captain Jack who's the leader. Um, forgotten next and then Wisecrack Hard can. There's not a lot you can do about it. Well, he's only got so many horses to split between the races. I think it's probably worth saying this at this point because there's only Matt Cooper me and Grace still watching but it's maybe time to cut the field not the field sizes cut the races back as they get over the seventh so that we get bigger fields by having lesser races anyway into the final four furlongs and Captain Jack's in the lead on um, Wisecrack Hardcan and Forgotten Next over the final ditch and Forgotten Next jumped that one really well and has jumped into the lead. That one's got hurdling speed if he can stay on his feet. Captain Jack though battling back to take it up. Forgotten Next is now back in second over this third last they go. There's still two more to get over. Captain Jack looks like he's gone for home. Forgotten Next is chasing in second. Wisecrack Hardcan back in third over that second last and that's where Forgotten Next made his mistake and now Captain Jack is well clear. Wisecrack Hardcan moves into second. Forgotten Next is going to need to Get that speed going sharpish over the final flight fence they go and this is captain jack all the way captain jack well clear and a penalty kick for captain jack in the end so winner for graham cutter but captain jack takes it it's going to be close for second forgotten next is hurdling speed just getting him up for second ahead of wisecrack hard can so captain jack the winner then for graham cutter book wisecrack uh sorry forgotten next was second for martin Edelman. wisecrack hard can for matt cooper was back in third, just the three finishes.